Yo, what up? This is your boy Shocky360, and here we go playing against God Level. And uh, he's, he's gonna go use uh, Texas AM, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Oregon. Now, one of the things is this is actually a Gamer Salon game, so we're playing for some cash here. And I've been playing a lot of Gamer Salon lately, and I've probably posted some of those games here on YouTube. And just wanna show you here how the rush attack uh, offense works. Uh, you know, it's a really, really consistent offense as well. My defense of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and post an update on some of the new defenses that I'm using here in this game so that it's going to help you lock up uh, your opponent. Now, I'm playing a lot of ranked games as well. I'm actually almost ranked on the top 100 on PS3. I'm actually 24 and 4 record. <laughs> so it's really insane. And on Xbox, it's just it's been like a 35 and some record. So I'm doing really good. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm almost on the top 100 for both Xbox and PS3. So I'm ready to lock up. On both consoles and as you guys can see here this is the rush attack i'm gonna go ahead and run now one of the things about the rush attack offense that i got and you guys should get it if you guys want to run the ball 400 yards to 500 yards consistently online ranked games man uh but this is how i use it against a money game against money games you know you're gonna play against good players that adjust well on defense and um you, you gotta just counter it i'm reading your defense right here i'm reading how many linebackers you got on the uh, on top of the lineman I, i'm reading everything how many linemen do you got how many linebackers how many safeties how many everything you know right here come out a really nice play the heavy out of shotgun and just run it up the gut right here for a nice uh touchdown i actually did good and now the thing about the rush attack offense is that i'm gonna move the ball consistently no matter what and i'm gonna come out in the pass and i'm gonna counter everything you do so you start run committing against this offense boom everything's gonna go through the air come back and then hit you with a run so uh here we go we're gonna go ahead and try to adjust now one of the things he came out with texas a and that's actually a team i love to use online rank games every single time because i do the same thing he's doing to me right now just run it with a qb all day and making touchdowns so here he got me really well and he comes out and goes for a two-point conversion now i wanted to go for two-point conversion on my first touchdown but then i decided i just want to take seven i don't want to put a lot of pressure on myself and uh sometimes I, I i do make them i convert them like nothing you know but in a money game uh i like to do it maybe may, mainly on my second touchdown or my third touchdown i like to go for two but here we go this is actually a really tight spot fourth down and we get a first down really well this is the one of the first times we go for a pass and you know we go back to the run we come back to the scheme i know the runs is really tough to stop if he doesn't have a good run start. now he starts to run commit hey we counter the we just read his linemen linebackers we countered it really well up the gut right here with a halfback we got the fastest halfback in the game and uh, we score a touchdown. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start going for two. Now, this is what I like. Oregon, the QB, even though he's not that fast like Texas a and quarterback, he is explosive, man. If you keep moving that analog stick up, uh, when, as soon as you're going to score, hey, he's going to be pushing for extra yardage every single time. And there he got me a touchdown. Uh, so I'm up 15-8 uh, to eight in this game. So I'm trying to adjust here as we go into the second quarter. Three minutes left in the clock and i'm gonna go ahead and try to just to stop him uh, here and lock him up so here we go he comes up in the little screen and he he got me really good i actually was sending the blitz on both sides the linebacker and the linebacker on the left side of the field and he got me really well here for a nice first down so here we go again and we send the blitz and we got him again right here so he he got me good on the screen but we keep sending the blitz man i really don't care i'm just gonna go ahead and send it you know i want to go ahead and try to put some pressure there uh, make him feel the pressure and uh, make him uh, you know make mistakes so again he sends a screen so he I gotta like lock that up now so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some zones on that side of the field here we go uh, I'm actually coming out in a, in a max coverage defense right here on the on the red zone if you notice it gets a little bit tougher to score in the red zone uh, and we get him here with a sack he actually lost yardage just third and ten he's coming out uh, he's sitting in the pocket oh he got a really close cat I thought my linebacker had that pick but he didn't get it so he's for the ninjas. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and come up. All right. I came out actually in goal line in this play. I was so dumb. I don't know why I did. I just want to. I, just, I don't want him to run it in. I want him to throw it in and give me a chance to try to pick it off. So here we go. Second. Um, we're in the third. Uh, third quarter. We got three minutes left. We're gonna pound the rock. Pound the rock. Like I said, this is a rush attack offense. And I'm going to make sure that I move the ball consistently no matter what. Now, he's starting to run commit. If you notice, the linemen are going to go ahead and start pinching in. He Look at this. He's sending everybody in. Boom. All right. We hit him with a pass over the top. And we get a nice gain. So, if you start seeing people run committing, you got the rush attack guy. And he, I know some people are already texting me. Hey, what happens if they run commit every play? Hey, this is what you do right here. Just hit him over the top right, with a quick touchdown. You could also come out in a tight formation. Uh, you got the elite guy part one. 
You come out in tight formation, you could attack with a pass, boom, and then hit him with a big run. Or attack him with a big run and then hit him with a long pass. So start run committing, just go through the air right there as you guys saw. So here we go on, on defense. Again, we're trying to lock up our opponent. Now, the thing with gamers alone games, you got to be really smart, consistent on offense. And uh, you got to make uh, take chances, okay? So in this case, you got to go for two-point conversion, uh, etc. Because you know uh, defense is kind of weak this year. So you know that people are going to be scoring. The one who makes the more mistakes is going to lose, all right, in this game. So... Uh, uh, you just gotta do your thing just keep adjusting on defense definitely things are gonna happen to you you keep uh, you have a consistent offense you know that you're gonna be scoring and the rush attack offense that's what it does for me man it just uh, keeps the ball moving for me i know that i'm gonna score i know you're gonna have a hard time scoring uh you know trying to stop me so here we go it's 22 15 in this game uh and uh he's down he's about to score this time i gonna go ahead and uh look at this my linebacker my cornerback just stays there and doesn't even do anything he was right at the right spot i'm, I'm adjusting everything putting purple zones uh yellow and my my still my players don't react so you know i know i'm doing good anyway so um, i'm forcing him right here to go for two he actually goes for two right here and he doesn't get it he doesn't get it so that's one of the chances that he took right there i'm still up 22 to 21 but i know that i need to get another score look at this he's run committing again and i know he's trying to stop that run but look at this boom i get up that's why i love this guy man he just got up right there he was on his back and he got the extra yardage right there for a first down third inning 11. what am i gonna do now i know he's run committing trying to stop the run boom let's hit him over the top look at this now one thing when the somebody run commits on you uh the the safeties kind of drop down a couple of yards and then they recover so you see that right away boom hit them up top right there for a nice game so here we go we push forward for another touchdown now we're up in this game uh 29 21 i went for one i should have gone for two then definitely would have sealed the game right there because if he would have scored gone for two i still would have been up uh a score so but anyways uh, i'm forcing him now to go for two to tie this game and he has to do it if he doesn't uh, do it and he loses you know so here we go He's driving the ball pretty well, coming on the little screen again. But this time I got the DT to lock him up right there. And we got him in a nice tackle, third and 10. Here we go. So I got to be ready again. I, I've been trying to put a purple on that side. Uh, purple seemed not to react to that route. And he got a touchdown. But he goes for two. And that's just one of the chances that he took right there. He went for two. He throws, boom. My player's right there on the spot. And he threw a quick pass. I just had a yellow on that side. I actually adjusted really well right there in that play. And he doesn't get it. 29, 27. We're going to go ahead and try to run the ball. And this time I come on a different formation. He hasn't seen actually. This is a pistol strong slot. Really love this play right here. Just come up the gut every single time. Even if I give it to the halfback, he'll run it up for a lot, a lot of yardage. Look at this. He's run committing everything. I'm still running with the QB. I'm still running with a halfback. No matter what, I'm still moving the ball still uh wasting clock i'm gonna go ahead and do this strategy what i'm thinking right now i'm gonna go ahead and try to waste as much clock as i i can kick the field goal waste time with the field goal i'm gonna go ahead with the field goal is gonna waste time right there like around four seconds boom and then i'm gonna go ahead and kick it off and i don't know you know my kick man my, i like to kick it off out, out of bounds every single time so they uh when i kick it out of bounds uh, i actually make them get the ball on the 30 every single time so i don't have to worry about getting any kickoff returns at all so you guys don't know that that's my new shocker kick i kick it out of bounds deep all the way to the left and make sure you guys do that so look at the 154 yards really good he got a and 179 yards passing this time so i mixed it up really well did awesome in this game and you know hope you guys like this video comment subscribe if you guys want tips hey remember i'm also running tournaments at madden battles and madden bye